Hello everyone, welcome to part 20 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are working on the CRUD operation and uh, we are using this CRUD operation uh, for the CMS pages. So in this video we are going to work on the add CMS page functionality. In the last video we able to create the form. Here you can see we able to create this page and form design and now uh, we need to work on its functionality. So we are working on the basic admin panel right now that is required by any dynamic website. So in Laravel 10, first thing is to make the basic website. If you are going to make e-commerce website, dating website, education related website, restaurant website, any website, you require this basic admin panel. After that, we are going to work on the uh, website letter uh, admin panel. Like if we are going to work on the e-commerce website, then we are going to add here the product section, categories, orders, all these kind of uh, sections. And if we are going to work on the education related website, then we will add the courses, uh, modules like exams, okay, uh, day sheets, uh, syllabus, uh, the, these kind of stuff. And if we are going to work on the dating website, then we are going to add like uh, uh, friends, oh, okay, shortlist, messages, uh, so such kind of stuff okay approval okay for the uh, new accounts like this so uh, right now we are working on the CMS uh, and here we have created this form now we are going to work on its functionality so let's update the function this function that we are going to use the edit function for add or up uh, add or edit the CMS page we are going to use the edit function in CMS controller See, we have created the CMS controller with the help of the resource controller. We get all the functions, okay, that we can able to use. So in CRUD operation, we have used this automatic system of creating the function. And here, uh, we are working on this edit function. In the last video, we able to add here uh, some code, okay. Uh, so uh, this pay, uh, this edit function is, uh, uh, we have returned to add edit CMS page that we have created in the last video. So now in this video, uh, we are going to work on the uh, post method. But first of all, we need to make sure that our form is ready. See here we have added the form that is fine. Uh, we have added the title that is also fine. URL, okay. Description, okay. Meta title is also fine. Meta description as well as meta keyword. So all the IDs and names are uh, fine. And here CMS form, URL action is also fine. Okay, so form seems to be fine. Now we can use here the post method uh, to get the data from the poster form. Okay, so here we will add the if condition if dollar request is method post. Dollar data equal to dollar request all. So uh, we can first check that the data is coming here or not. Okay. We can simply print the data here. So debugging is always help us that we are doing the correct code or not. So here, uh, so here I'm going to add here like uh, uh, once again, like FAQ page that we have not added so far. Here FAQ URL, uh, testing, here uh, simply we can add the testing for all other fields. Let's see, submit, see all the informations are coming fine. Okay, so we are going to disable this one and here uh, first thing is we are going to add the Laravel validations as well. Okay, so that is required because uh, otherwise the user uh, able uh, will not able to fill the correct data maybe okay so we are going to add the uh, validation for cms pages validation okay laravel validation we are going to add here like uh, we are going to add rules so some of the data we will keep mandatory uh, while adding the cms page like the title so we will not allow the user uh, to add without any title so that is required so of that url 
URL is also required and description description of the page is also required see meta tags are not required that is if the admin want to add then he can add otherwise it is not required so uh, see we can also add the custom messages array for the custom message as well okay see this one uh, we have done earlier as well uh, for uh, for our admin details so here we will add like title dot required for this we will add title is required these are the custom messages even if you will not add this it will by default show the message so the error message url dot required here url is required one the description dot required though we can also add the html5 validation but it is the good practice to add uh, the laravel validation because we require at many places also it is the server side where validation that is always secure okay so uh, we can also do it like the page title is required we can also add the page here so that it will be more clear page url is required page description is required okay so uh, we are going to validate this dollar this validate a dollar request whatever coming uh, from post method then dollar rules that we have used here rules array then custom messages array okay like this so we are going to print this uh, it will redirect back and we are going to uh, print here uh, so in the same way like uh, we are printing the error message in login.blade.php file okay uh, i think we are printing here as well here okay so this one we have used the laravel validation as well so we are going to print in the same way before the form okay so this one for printing the laravel validation error messages okay that we have copied from the laravel website earlier on in the series so now we can try uh, i will go back and see i will not fill this time anything and i'm going to try to submit it and see here it will show here the error message page title is required page url is required page description is required so this one is working fine these are the laravel validation okay so we require to fill all the uh, fields that are uh, marked with uh, this uh, okay uh, so one more thing we are also going to add this one here after description okay so these three fields are mandatory to add title url and as, as well as description otherwise it will show the error message see here it is not required here though meta title meta description we can remove from here okay so now uh, we are going to submit uh, if uh, the admin is going to add these three things we are going to save that page okay so we are going to save that page so uh, now we are going to uh, work on its query okay so here uh, we are going to make it like dollar cms page uh, title dollar data title so what we are going to do we are going to add all like also we are going to add here like uh, in case of add cms page uh, like we used to do uh, we will add here like cms page equal to new cms page okay in case of add and also uh, here message we are going to give the success message if the cms page address successfully like cms page address successfully in case of add okay so this one will work here and after this we are going to add all these uh, fields we're going to save we're going to do it like this and we are going to save all uh, like title after title url after url description okay after description uh meta title after meta title uh there is meta keywords uh meta description as well after meta description uh, it's meta keywords 
okay so here status is one okay so here uh, come like save okay so uh, after that we are going to return redirect uh the user uh, back to the admin cms pages okay uh, CMS pages with the success message with success message and the message we have already uh, done like this one uh here it is cms page address successfully okay so uh, now we can try uh, but here in cms page is also we are required to add here the success message code uh, like we have added this error message we are going to add the success message here in cms pages admin will redirect uh, back to the cms pages once the page added correctly okay so we are going to add here this one after this div call we can add here and here uh, we will add success message this success we will also add here success and also here okay so it's fine everything seems to be fine uh, so now we can try submitting uh, let's submit first blank okay it will show error that's fine so we are going to add this time faq uh, url is faq in small and this one we can put in testing other field we are not going to fill right now uh, okay so it is showing that meta title cannot be null so we need to uh, add all as null or we need to update all fields of cms pages as null that are actually not mandatory okay uh, so one more thing we are going to do here one more step uh, in database.php file in config uh, in database.php where it is database.php here uh, under config folder database.php here you can make this strict as false actually if we make uh, strict as false then it will help us to prevent such errors okay uh, so it means that uh, it is uh, if even if you will not fill any uh, fields okay uh, then it will not show such kind of error okay uh, but even then if it will show uh, like uh, then we need to add the columns as null okay so i'm going to add the columns as null here so that it will accept the null value as well now i'm going to re, uh, refresh continue see this time it is working fine okay you can see we able to add the entry this time faq entry this one also the creator on date has come and uh, we able to see the entry has come i'm going to check in our table as well here you can see that we have added the null in case of meta title meta description and meta keywords and uh, title description URL has been filled up okay so date has been also filled up but it is not showing correctly we need to change the date format okay uh, update date format in PHP uh, we can update the date format uh, here uh, we can open uh, stack overflow link and there is the way to update the date format uh, like this one so we are going to use this one okay so i'm going to copy this one like this so let us try in cms pages here is the date format i am going to uh, do it like this and here i'm going to use this dollar page creator at uh, here so let's see the it will show the date in a proper way proper format let's see yes now it is coming fine okay uh, date is now coming correctly uh, and you can even update the format uh, again uh, to show 
लाइक वाई एम डी फॉर फॉर्मेट और सम अदर फॉर्मेट दैट यू लाइक टू हैव देर आर मैनी फॉर्मेट इन विच यू कैन अपडेट द डेट ओके लाइक सी वाई एम डी इज ई अनदर चॉइस और वी कैन इवन सर्च पी एच पी डेट सो वी कैन ओपन दिस वन एंड हियर वाई एम डी लाइक दिस वन वाई एम डी ओके सो देर आर अदर फॉर्मेट एज वेल आई एम गोइंग टू सी दे आर फॉर्मेट लाइक इट विल शो ईयर मंथ एंड डेट इन ए प्रॉपर फॉर्मेट go to check in this website here are i think see many formats are given here like monday 8th of august okay like this you can use such formats as well okay uh, see here wednesday 15th okay see here see so many formats so i am searching for this one mass 10 see how much code it is okay so we can also use this one so uh, i am going to use this one let's see if it will able to update to this format i am not sure let's try and now i am going to refresh here and let's see yes you can see that how good it is see first three it is not showing any kind of dates it is the wrong date because we have added from the header but the correct date is coming here okay so we can uh, remove all the cms pages and uh, we are going to fill uh, these cms pages now we can able to fill from the admin panel okay so once again i am going to add the cms page new cms page like the terms and condition okay so first page i am going to add it terms and condition uh, here terms and condition like we have added earlier uh, so here simple testing we can add testing 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 okay click on submit and here you can see it is uh, see showing the today date with the title as well as the url okay more uh, we can add here uh, like if we are going to add here po uh, privacy policy privacy policy like this and here privacy policy okay so testing here once again testing 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 okay so now we are going to see See here, two pages we have added. This one is also coming. CMS page added successfully. I'm going to close it from here. Okay. So in the next video, we are going to work on the edit CMS page functionality. So please stay tuned for that. That's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.